Watts. There are only 41 remedies in this Watts repertory chapter. That is a skin symptom, after all, even though it's not got a lot of remedies, this rubric. And now it looks much better. We have four remedies, only two of which cover all the symptoms without counterindications. And now we have to look into Materia Medica, and we have to compare the remedies. What are we now inter interested in the most? What do we have to find in the Materia Medica? What do we want to know? What do we want to find? The cutting, don't we? The self-mutilation. That is a symptom which is a 153 symptom. It's very special. I have taken the trouble to look through what I've found in Rustox, the mind symptoms, sadness, which loves lonesome stillness, full of sad thoughts, fearful, timid, annoyed, sad disposition, bad mood, despondency, easily moved to tears, uh, annoyed and uh, bothered by each little thing doesn't want to be talked to, despondency with prostration, weepiness mainly in the evening, desire to be alone, fed up with life in general, without sadness, as if satiated with life, desire to die, despondent, dejected and dissatisfied with the world in the evening, sad, starts weeping without knowing why, melancholy, oops, morose and fearful as if some bad luck had befallen her or if, if she is lonely and everything around her were dead. But nothing about cutting herself. In Belladonna we find in the guiding symptoms hits herself or himself of course. Wants to be lonely and wants quietness. Every noise and every company is averse to all of that dejected or too much exuberance, sadness and dejectedness, indifference towards everything. They're looking to be alone and desire quietness, desperation, de dejected, great sensitivity and irritability, annoyed, nothing pleased him. He was mad at himself, weepiness and angry because of small details, anger, even with rage and temper tantrums. That's taken from the guiding symptoms by Herring. The keynote is not to be found neither in Beringhausen nor in Herring either. The um, cutting. In Kent, we do find mutilates his body um, with arsenicum as the only remedy. In Boga Beringhausen, we we so the uh, characteristics, uh, there's no rubric. So with the repertories, we are not really getting anywhere. So then I looked uh, at the clock, and now I found in the second volume, page 635, in the mind symptoms of Belladonna, I found hurts herself, mutilates herself. That's the key note. And that really made me go for Belladonna. So you see, this uh, in this Rustox, there is the higher polarity difference, but Belladonna has got the key mind symptom, so which really is the key note. So um, that is given priority. That the remedy Belladonna is given priority. And then six weeks, for six weeks, I don't hear anything. Then the mother comes and says there was no initial aggravation. The symptomatology just went within a few days. She, Linda never cut herself, and she's much opener. She's calmer, and she's more positive towards life. Uh, I can talk to her, and she thinks she doesn't understand what had happened to her, that she behaved in such a stupid way. A normal mood... Uh, remains stable, but 15 months after the treatment, the patient um, weeps and talks to her mother and tells her that before the borderline uh, problem started, she took part in a teenager party and she 
had got some kind of toxin and she had been raped, basically. That was a total catastrophe. That was the trigger of her um, problem. And I said, yes, but you have to report to the police. You have to sue the rapist, but the girl doesn't want to do that. No way. Uh, she says that she's gotten over it and she doesn't want to, uh, you know, go through everything again. That was three years ago. She is fine, emotionally speaking. Belladonna seems to um, have done that what it had to do.